Hi everyone, it's your girl Tahira Asha here with another video. Today's video is going to be on shipping. Shipping, shipping, shipping out those products. Being super duper transparent, y'all. Shipping kicked my ass. My first launch was super successful, but on the back end, I was going through it, okay? Going through it. So I just wanted to come on here, give you guys some tips and some tricks that I wish that I had so that you are better able to optimize that shipping experience. So if you are struggling with shipping like I was, definitely continue to watch this video. And if this video helps you in any way, don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's get right into it. Okay, so jumping right into the video, one of the very first tips that I have for you guys is to understand the shipping options offered by your website builder. Um, whether it's Shopify, whether it's GoDaddy, whether it's um, Wix, um, what are some other ones? I don't know what the other ones are, but those are like the top three that I know about. Um, so yeah, you definitely just want to know what shipping options that your website um, builder offers and just go to the shipping options um, on your website. So for example, I use Wix, right? Wix offers shipping. So you can do shipping by product. Um, you can do shipping by weight. Um, you can use real USPS shipping rates. You can do, and there are a couple of other options as well. Um, but yeah, you just want to go on your website builder first and see what shipping op options they offer because you don't want to select a shipping option um, from a specific carrier and that's not offered on your Wix or your Shopify or your GoDaddy account. So that's tip number one. So then step number two would be to compare your website builder options with different mail carrier prices, right? So we have all of the different types of mail carrier prices, whether it's DHL, if you're shipping like internationally, um, whether it's USPS, FedEx, um, regular um, UPS, I don't know. What I would recommend is you creating a chart because even though you may know someone who uses FedEx and that's working extremely well for them, that may not be the same case for you um, because you may be offering a different product. Um, so the weight changes, um, you may be having your product in like different packaging. So again, the weight changes. Um, so yeah, you just want to be mindful of that. And you want to compare that with your website builder because even though you may want to do it by product on your website builder, you still have to know what those specific rates would be for each individual mare carrier before you decide on which carrier to use. I hope that makes sense. So now on to step number three, once you do your Google search or your online search um, for the different carriers, please y'all go to the carrier's physical location and have them give you real measurements and real pricing for your products. So this is what I had to do and I learned the hard way. Go to USPS or FedEx or um, a DHL facility if you know where one is at, I don't. But go to one of those facilities, take your packaging, take your products, have them weigh your product with the packaging and get accurate um, pricing for those specific products. Because what you don't wanna do right is use a shipping scale from Amazon. That's where I got my shipping scale from. But that particular shipping scale isn't, it, it doesn't give you an accurate rate. So you're printing off all of these labels and then you get to the actual um, carrier facility and they're like, these are way off. Um, instead of one pound, this is actually two pounds. So you just wanna make sure that you are getting accurate measurements and prices for your product. So now on to step number four, after you get those real estimates, you want to begin setting up shipping on your site. If you want a more detailed video on how to shut up, set up shipping um, on Wix because that's what I use. Um, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I can do a video on that. So yeah, after you get those accurate estimates from your mail carrier, you want to go ahead and input those measurements and 
um, update your website builder with your shipping policy. So then finally, you want to start processing and shipping out those orders. So how it works is you will have the shipping prices as part of your checkout experience, right? So when your customer selects a product, and all of the products in their car um, are added to their car and they're ready to check out, then it will calculate shipping for you, depending on the shipping options that you choose on the back end. So then they will pay all of their totals, right? And then you will have all of your list of all of your invoices and um, the full total amounts of everything. So when on the Wix owner's back end portion of the site you will see that the total payouts and everything is in um that shipping is included in that payouts so when you are to print your labels before you print those labels wix is going to require you to pay for those labels now don't be alarmed you are physically not paying for them your customer has already paid for them you are just subtracting whatever that they paid and adding it to um, the shipping. I hope that makes sense. So pretty much your customer pays for the shipping in the beginning. Um, so that total price is not really the total price. So for example, my planners were $50. After shipping, most people pay about $58 because shipping um, for me to ship out my planners were about eight, about $8. So yeah, so when I was to go and check out, $8, um, from that 58 will go towards shipping and then the other $50 will go into my Wix um, payout account or my um, regular business account, however you set that up. So that's how the actual payout and the shipping process works. Um, you cannot print those labels um, until they have been paid for. So if you are someone who offers free shipping, then that doesn't mean that shipping is going to be free. That means that you are going to have to pay for that shipping on your end. So now that we've gone through the process of how um, you should come to finalizing your shipping options, now I just want to give you guys a few tips, right? So these are some of the things that I learned along the way in those long one and a half to two much trying to figure out what type of shipping I wanted um, and what type of shipping I wanted to offer my customers. These are some of the tips that I came across that I wish I had known beforehand. So first and foremost, to get accurate weighings and accurate, um, what's the word I'm looking for? To get accurate pricing from your mail carrier, take your packaging with you, especially if you are having your own packaging, right? So for USPS, they offer packaging that is free. You can literally go online and order the boxes. But if you are using your own packaging, then they want, then that packaging has to be a part of how much it is going to cost to ship out your product. So a lot of my mailers I ordered from Amazon, but I still had to add that to my scale when um, weighing out certain products because the bulkier the packaging, the higher the expense cost is. So again, you just want to make sure that you are um, measuring your products and getting those real measurements and um, those real units of weight, including the type of packaging that you are sending out. Yeah, if you decide to use USPS, they offer free shipping supplies. So you can order free um, labels. I, I'm, mm, I lied, y'all. You cannot order free labels. <laughs> you can order free um, boxes and you can order free like mailers online. So I ordered so many daggone boxes, like, hold on. Like I have so many boxes. I just recommend that you order those in advance because they don't come priorities. It literally took me maybe like a week and a half or two weeks to get my boxes. So order them well in advance and order them in bulk. They're free, like just order them. And again, if you don't know already, USPS has click and ship. Click and ship rates are much cheaper than doing it retail and they are much more cheaper than doing it from your um from your website builder account whether you're using shopify wix godaddy whatever so they offer regional rates boxes i don't know but i did not know about this until like i literally went into my click and ship account and entered um you know my zip codes and my delivery information and yada 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 
and they were like okay you are eligible you know for the regional box so i'm like what's the regional box so when i went to usps they were literally telling me that in order to ship my planner priority it was going to take 22 dollars to ship my planner priority no <laughs> no but when i went on my clip and ship account it was only eight dollars to ship my planner and again it's eight dollars to ship my planner in this type of box and this is the box that i'm probably going to be using um to ship my planner so it's called the regional box they have a's and b's um just depending on the size of the box that you need and the dimensions of your product so definitely if you are using usps i highly recommend using the clip and ship it's saving money um, for your customer and it's saving money for you if you are someone who is offering free shipping. Just a little tip. Oh, but then on the back end, make sure you order those boxes, y'all, because regional rate boxes are not offered inside of the USPS facility. It is a clip and ship like um, VIP thing. So you definitely want to make sure that you order those boxes online for free um, before going to that facility because then you will end up in a doozy like I was and having to pay for everyone shipping when you get there and that is not something that you want to do and then one of the very last tips that I would want to give you guys is think of your shipping from both a consumer's perspective but also from a business perspective as well I know everyone always wants to offer free shipping however understand what that means to you as a business um so i know me as a customer i have exited out my whole cart closed the website browser and everything if shipping was too expensive so i understand that coming from a consumer perspective however now that i personally have started my own business i understand why certain things um have a specific type of shipping price going with it so i have come up with a few ways that you can kind of offset that shipping price of course one is just using the usps clip and ship and um ordering some of those regional boxes another one would be meet your customer halfway right so let's say that if the shipping um let's say the shipping is ten dollars you could literally add ten dollars on to your product cost and then just have a flat rate shipping of five dollars you know so they think that shipping is only five dollars but really they're paying ten dollars um it's just that you just added ten dollars onto their price of the product now don't include that extra five dollars onto the price of the product in your overall um profit margin because technically you're not receiving that that's going towards shipping um so but yeah that is a good way and i'm pretty sure that's what fashion nova and all of those other um big companies um are doing they're just adding you know even if they say free shipping if you go on the website like most of the products are like three dollars more or five dollars more or something like that um or they just have enough revenue where they can actually offer free shipping but if you are someone who are who are purchasing from a small business please y'all take that into consideration shipping is expensive we can't cover it on our end so you must cover it on your end period and take it from this point of view right what so whether you pay eight dollars shipping for your one planner or i pay eight dollars shipping for hundreds of planners i rather you pay it for that one time versus me paying it hundreds of times so yeah that's just putting it into um perspective from a business standpoint but also still taking into consideration your customers because at the end of the day customer service is everything and then the last tip um for um shipping i would say is offering a local pickup option now y'all i was so against this like i had went live on facebook and i was saying i'm not going to be dropping off packages i'm not going to be doing pickups but 
I was like, girl, just do it. Because that is another incentive for people who are in the area that you live in to just pick up their packages. And I am someone that's like, sometimes, you know, when I'm down and out and I don't got the funds, I don't want to pay for shipping. And I wish that they had a pickup option so that I could just order it online and then go to the store and pick it up. So just having that convenience for your customers and local pickup doesn't always have to be free, y'all. Charge three dollars for everyone who comes to pick up your package um because not only because that is also time consuming to you as well so you just want to make sure um that you have the option if you want to have the option but make it worth your while as well as a consumer and please y'all don't have the pickup option at your home have it at like a public place okay you don't want hundreds of people coming to your house to pick up packages um everyone doesn't need to know where you live at so that's all that i have for you guys um again shipping was a doozy for me um it took a lot of research um and it took a lot of effort to figure out which carrier and what shipping options were best for me um and if you haven't already guessed i do use um usps um and i use the regional rate priority on um, flat rate boxes but then i also use like um bubble mailers for my smaller products like my notebooks and my pens and things like that and i also offer um different shipping options so i give my customers the choice okay do you want um to have it sent priority um or do you want to have it sent first class so priority would get to you within like one to three days after um shipping and then um first class would get to you within like three to five days so i do give my um customers that option so yeah i hope that was super super helpful because again y'all i went through it if it helped you definitely give this video a thumbs up um comment if you want any um more detailed ways um on how to use the shipping options in wix that's the only website builder i am familiar with so it has to be wix i can't go on shopify and learn all of that that's just way too much um but yeah that's something that you're interested in leave that in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to shop Pure Life, purelifestationary.com. We just launched and we're lit. See you next time.